to the first ever Unexplained Possibilities review. I'm Melvin, and with me is... Rose, the Alien Queen. And what are we reviewing? Today we're going to review the Zozo Phenomenon book. Yes, that's right. The Zozo Phenomenon by Darren Evans and Rosemary Ellen Guiley. The book came out summer of 2016, and I have to say I'm quite surprised by it. I fairly enjoyed it. For someone that doesn't read at all, I I read it from the start to finish, and I quite enjoyed reading it. Yes, that's right. You don't read at all. You're not the biggest fan of reading. No, my body and my I tend to I have a short attention span, and it, it, if I start reading something and it gets boring, I I literally put it away and I never read it again. But this 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 kept me interested from start to finish, so I read the whole thing. Yeah, the book is about two hundred seventy seventeen pages, so it's it's on the shorter side, but it's packed with a lot of information in regards to. Not only Zozo, but Ouija boards, as well as history, and even Jin, which took me by surprise. Yeah, I I don't really know much about Jin, um, but the fact that they're possibly negative en- entities that can manipulate... Um, I'm not really 100% on what they actually do or, or what they are, but the Zozo... Demon. I, I'm pretty com- confident that it is a type of demon, but it, 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 the book explains all the different possibilities of what this demon, well, entity could be, um, and the different names that it can actually appear as. And it, yeah, it goes through a, f- um, a few different. That's okay. Um, how did you like the story? I enjoyed Darren's story. Um, it was very interesting to read. Um, he put a lot of personal information in the book, which he didn't have to do, but um, he really wanted to get this story out so people can understand yeah, um, what this... The book, I forgot to say, the book is split into two halves. You know, you have Darren's personal experiences and his story, and the second part is all the information that Darren and Rosemary found or discovered on the Z entity and it's presented in a very good way. And And all the different stories of other people going to Darren asking for help. Yes, there are also user submitted stories and while I can't authenticate them and say, yeah, it's 100% real, I don't believe Darren would put anything fake or misleading in this book not intentionally anyway yeah he he's pretty um passionate about letting other people know about this entity and and why you should not use an ouija board so yeah for someone like me who has used an ouija board before who didn't really think that it was a big deal when you read the book you can understand well wow this is actually can happen and and, and it it lingers with you for years. Like it, it, it's something that can really badly affect someone and the people around that person. So it, it, just don't touch Ouija boards, pretty much. That, yeah. that that's the that's the thing too. Um, in reading this book, because you've messed with the Ouija board, I haven't. And in reading this, I think if you mess with the Ouija board or spirit board, and you've run into Zozo. And you read this, and you 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 get a what if understand. this could have happened. You know, you have a better idea of what could have gone wrong, and you appreciate it more. It's almost like like you, an you're award. lucky that it didn't happen to you. Yeah, yeah, and pretty much. Someone like me who's never messed with it, you know, we don't we don't get that. I mean, we get a good story filled with a lot of information that you can take on, investigate yourself, but you, you you don't get that extra bit of investment as opposed to someone like Rose who who who's messed around, who's seen it, who who gets it and understands how lucky she was. 
Yeah, yeah, and why you shouldn't make fun of a demon or, or laugh at it or call it dirty names. Because yes, I was because you, it. <laughs> uh, you did all of that. I, I could have summoned something extremely bad in my house if somehow it got itself out of the out of the portal and into my atmosphere. It yeah. could have ended badly. So consider yourself fortunate. You know, there I are still other... stand by the fact that I, I was just letting it know that it wasn't welcome in my house by yelling at it and <laughs> swearing at it. Yeah, give it more energy. Call, um, calling it names. Yeah. It feeds off negative energy, so that's not a good thing. Uh, did you learn anything from it? The Zozo from the I did. You did. Yeah, I, I learned. I learned that how badly it affected Darren and, and, and people have actually, like, possibly have died because of this entity. Um, it, it, you know, it's just a few things that Darren's put in there from his side of the story of, of um, cases where people have died mysteriously or the, the Ouija board predicted that they were going to die and they did. And it's just incredible, like... Yeah, I definitely learned that you, you shouldn't really mess with anything like this at all. Um, it's definitely a wake-up call for anyone wanting to use an Ouija board or wanting to summon a demon. It is not a good idea. Now, you know, that's the problem because the book, it's not telling you to do it. It's not exactly saying don't do it either. But, you know, someone might read this and say, oh, wow, this Zozo dude's kind of cool. He could predict the future or something like that. You know, that could be so bad. You know, It's just laying out the facts and the possibilities and things that have happened in the presence of this demon. And if anyone's stupid enough to go and look for this demon and ask for it to come into um, into their, their, their atmosphere or whatever, it, they're an idiot. I'm sorry, but don't do it. Like, trust me, you will regret it afterwards. Okay, now, how easy was it for you to to read? Like, did you have any trouble or anything like that? No, it was laid out really good. It was really interesting. Um, I found it really easy to read. There, there wasn't any... Some books I find really hard to read when they use too many big words. And I'm not much of a reader, so when I'm reading big words, I'm like, what the hell does this word even mean? <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm a bit low class when it comes to English. But anyway, um, yeah, it, it was really easy to read. So um, I recommend it to anyone who's interested in reading um, about you know, anything to do with demons or Ouija boards or just want to know what this Zozo demon is, it, it, it's highly recommended. Now, one thing that I particularly like about the book, you can pretty much read it from any chapter. Like, Yeah, yeah. That's, it, it is such a great format and how it's presented. So kudos to Darren and Rosemary for getting it like that to where you could literally just mm -hmm. open it up, start reading. Cause Every chapter is almost like a different subject or a different story. And you learn something, like, just just about. There's always something new in each uh, chapter that you're going to learn. I mean, in, in the first part, though, going through Darren's story, yeah, you learn, definitely don't mess with this. Uh, anything that was buried and has some uh, dead blackbirds and jars... Don't don't mess with it. <laughs> Just don't. Yeah. So, I mean, and in some ways, Darren's a very ballsy guy. Yeah, I think that's what started it all. Was he's like, oh, this looks kind of cool. Let's give it a go. Like, I mean, I used to be like that. You know, sometimes I still, sometimes I still feel like, oh, I really want to just like, you know, you just want to like try and get something to manifest because you're so excited to see something that's not of this you know physical world it's just the excitement and the adrenaline of going oh my god there's a demon or, oh my god there's a ghost or something so that that's that's what really lures people into using ouija boards is the excitement and the adrenaline out of it but at the end of the day when the negative stuff comes through you will regret it because you once it's there you it's very very hard to get rid of Now, I, I want to say, too, um, 
they did such a good job going over uh, or retelling Darren's story because you're being taken on an adventure and you're seeing it through his eyes. You're getting his emotion. You're feeling his pain. And it's it's tough. I mean, you feel bad for him because unfortunately it's it's not necessarily a good story. I mean, excuse me. It's a good story, but this is all real. It's all fact. So it's not a superhero not story true. where the guy gets the girl at the end and flies off or something. No. Th- this is borderline tragedy. But because of that, you know, you root for Darren. You want him to figure out what's going on. You want to know what is this entity, the Z entity that's stalking him. And in the second part, when when you get to the second part, it's like you have all of this information and it's coming at you. And, and it's not overwhelming. And part of it, again, is the format. Because sometimes when you're... When you're reading about certain things of this nature, when it's paranormal, it could be extremely overwhelming. You have names of scientists, dates, uh, who affected who here, 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 and it's coming at you left and right. Not so much with the Zozo phenomenon, but one thing, one problem I did have was with the user submitted stories sometimes popping up at random, it almost seemed like. Yeah, I did find that as well. But it was still interesting to listen to other people's experiences with this this spirit entity. Yeah, so I, I would just say, um, you know, but you know what? How else are you going to put the user-submitted stories in? You know, and I say user-submitted stories because these stories were submitted via his website or his email. Uh, Darren Evans website or email and they were good yeah if we just did a if we did a whole chapter of just purely just stories it would get pretty pretty just you know laid out like here's all the different stories so putting it in with the book in with the other paragraphs and stuff it just keeps the story flowing um the other thing and you know this is another con but it has to be said, if we're going to be 100% honest and open, there are some editing issues. You know, there <laughs> there are a couple of grammatic, <laughs> grammatical issues that the editor should have caught, but they didn't. And while they are small and they don't take away anything from the book itself, it's just an annoyance. And it's... Some of them are just blatantly out there. And, uh, for example, a Toyota Sentra instead of a Nissan or Nissan Sentra. Nissan. It's a Nissan. Yeah, you guys say Nissan, right, in Australia? Yep, it's a Nissan. So... I mean, Nissan, Nissan sounds like there's an E in there. Nissan. It doesn't sound like Nissan. Nissan is an I. Nissan. Okay. Nissan? I don't see any E in Nissan. Anyway. <laughs> Again, that's an example. <laughs> uh, you know, something that should have been caught and, like, changed and everything. And, and this isn't really a con, but it's just... Darren's story is so incredible, it's almost unbelievable because it seems like it's a work of fiction, but... It isn't. You're, it's really good, though. It is a good story, but you're you're just gonna want to say that this is a work of fiction. Like this can't be real, but it is, and that's how involved you will get He's... with it. My pros and cons, real quick, are um, the cons, editing issues, random randomly placed user submitted stories. And again, this isn't this one isn't really a con, but you know, some people might say it is. It, the story 
is so the story's told so good you think it's fake even though it isn't but it's just it's told that good my pros pros very good storytelling very good formatting uh very good information a lot short so you could get through it in a day and a half or so depending on your reading abilities and it I, you- sorry i was interrupting i i read the book in about two weeks and i read it almost every night after i came back home from work and i read at least two chapters uh, two to three chapters uh, it keeps you captivated to where you want more to to the point where i hope there is a follow-up yeah so my score uh, out of five, five being the highest, is a four out of five. Actually, a good follow-up book could be just based on a Ouija board entities and encounters and having people's different stories about their Ouija encounters. That could be a good follow-up story. Still in, in, still have Zozo in there, but be more about people with the Ouija boards and that and the different types of negative entities that can come through. That's an idea. Anyway, I I really like the book. Um, I don't really have any negative things to say about the book because I'm not like like you're a, you're a writer and that I, I'm I'm not in like yeah <laughs> I'm not a professional. So I read the book. I liked it, and I would give it a five out of five. Just purely because I didn't lose interest in it, and it was very interesting from start to finish. That's my main issue with books is sometimes I lose interest in them because they get boring. So I'm quite happy with it. All right. There I don't you have go. Any, yeah, nothing negative about it that I think. In closing, great book, good read, a lot of information. However, you know, you'll get more out of it if you mess with the Ouija board and ran into this Z entity, as opposed to if you've never messed with one. But you want something different and paranormal to read. And what makes it even better is this isn't Stephen King here. This isn't fiction. This is all real. <laughs> With that said, definitely pick up the Zozo Phenomenon. I will put the links in the description where you can actually purchase the book. And also, don't forget to check out Darren Evans' website. Link is also in the description. And be sure to check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Until next time, guys. Have a good one. Bye, guys.